Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for Monday, June 28th, 2021. Definitely getting caught up with readings here, you guys keep pushing them out. Today technically is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021, so without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead. We're going to ring the bell 21 times to call in our trusted ancestors to put us on the path of least resistance to get us to where we need to be in our life for our ultimate happiness and that they give us courage and wisdom to be proactive here on the earthly plane so that we are taking affirmative action towards our dreams, towards our goals, and to put us on the path of true love <clears throat> and for us to be with our true love, and so it is. Gonna go ahead, roll the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to today. I've got the power of number three. <clears throat> Some of you are dealing with a Pisces and or an Aries throughout the month of March. If the Empress card does decide to show up, you could also be dealing with a Taurus and or a Libra. Power of number six. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian throughout the month of June. So we could see the Lover's card show up and the power of number six again. Perfect, okay. <clears throat> so we're going to take the six to the six. That brings me to the number 12. So we're going to the power of number 42. Some of you could be 23 years old, 26 years old, possibly 24 years old, maybe even 42 years of age, 43, possibly 46. Maybe for my more mature crowd out there, possibly you could be 62, 63, or 64 years of age. Okay. Going to the power of number 42. With that number four, we could definitely see the Emperor card kick in. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus throughout the month of April. And with the number two, the High Priestess card could definitely make an appearance, possibly. And you could be dealing with a Aquarius or possibly a Pisces throughout the month of February. So here we go. Power of number 42. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 27. This person's energy is all over the place. 27, 28, 29. Man, oh man. 29. Wow. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, <clears throat> and forty-two. Okay. Trusted ancestors, what is the main focal point of energy for the day commencing for Monday, June twenty-eighth, twenty twenty-one, and beyond that time frame up to this current moment in time? What does Scorpio need to know the most right now about their specific person, please? What's going on with them? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune's coming back in again. Oh boy. <clears throat> Some of you guys probably needed to get confirmation again that yes, this person is fated and destined to be with you, Scorpio. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, and or another Scorpio such as yourself. Your person could have the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within their name or possibly your name. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, turn of events. Very good. Something that is going to be unexpected. So there could be some form of unexpected communication. I am seeing a little bit of the Eight of Wands coming into my mind's eye right now. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries. Leo and or Sagittarius, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten. Okay. Why is Scorpio's person coming in as the Wheel of Fortune, please? <laughs> oh, baby, yeah. Yes. We get it again, you guys. The Ace of Cups. Ace of freaking Cups. This person is coming in with a major cup of love unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Oh, in the bottom of the deck before I shuffle again. Ace of Swords. It is the truth. Yes. This person could be coming back to you in one day, one month, one hour, or possibly within the first hour of the day, meaning <clears throat> it could be the one o'clock hour, 1 a.m., 1 p.m., who knows, okay? But there is a time frame here. Could be about 30 days at most for some of you guys, okay? But this person, prepare your energy. Like I keep saying, prepare your energy. Eleven trusted ancestors. Why is Scorpio's person again coming in as the Wheel of Fortune, please? <laughs> Listen, you guys, this person cannot get you off of their mind. They're restless, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're so restless that they're gonna have to do something about it. I mean, you can't just keep letting that restless energy just go. You, you know, when somebody's restless, you feels like you got to get up and move and do something. You know what I mean? This person is mentally stressing out about you. I feel like this person feels like they lost you, Scorpio. But it's like something's turning around here. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with um, straight up with the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with another water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With the Nine of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Oh my God, this person is mentally stressing out. And on the bottom of the deck, the Tower card. Holy cow, this sign of Scorpio, sign of Aries coming in on the bottom of the deck. It's going to be unexpected. The Wheel of Fortune and the Tower card, it has powerful, it's a powerful impact card. Okay, this person is going through some kind of a Tower moment, you know. So, they've got to end up doing something about the energy. What, are you just going to keep being restless for the rest of your life? No, you got to take action. I feel spirit is trying to push this person out of their comfort zone to do the right thing. They're the ones that need to make the move, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? They're the ones that got to make the move. The Ace of Cups. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For the Wheel of Fortune, trusted ancestors. Why? Oh my God. Why is Scorpio's person? They're stressing out big time, according to my cards. And. Wanting to bring in this cup of love. Why do they why do they want to overpour their feelings, their emotions? Why are they coming in again as the wheel of fortune? Why is this? Why are they stressing out? Oh, because they God, listen. I see this energy in both directions. They okay. Five of swords coming in <clears throat> technically in the reverse of my hands. However, they want to get out of conflict with you, Scorpio. Bottom line is I see this both ways. They don't want to have any more conflict with you. They want to bring in this cup of love. But they're conflicted. They've been emotionally conflicted. This is the reason why this person is so damn restless. It, it, they, they, they just, you know, if you haven't been responding to them, Scorpio, maybe you've had to give them the cold shoulder, you know. I mean, they're feeling it, you guys. They are absolutely feeling it. Message from the Wheel of Fortune, trusted ancestors. What, how is this person going to be the Wheel of Fortune? Step up to the plate and make some major move here. You know, make a major chess move. To be with Scorpio. And there you are. <laughs> this is about an ending to old karmic patterns and cycles as well. Birth, transformation, death. I mean, it's Scorpio. Transformational energy. This is all getting ready to transform for the better. But this person, this I feel bad for your person because they're, they've been stressing out, Scorpio. 
Message from the death card. Sign of Scorpio. Straight up. Coming in, baby. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They're stressed the F out. Oh, my God. <clears throat> See, they're going to have to take action. You can't let all that restless, pent-up energy go nowhere. It has to go somewhere. So when I'm doing, when I'm working with this deck, when I look at the Princess of Swords or the Princess of Pentacles, I look at them as the knights because I look at them as very, like, strength. I look at them as strength, okay? This person is about ready to take some communicative action. They're going to have to. They're going to have no choice but to reach out to you. Because I feel like, because if you look at the dove, the dove is represented by the Holy Spirit, all right? So they're going to get <clears throat> an awakening here. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. This is about having commitment, flat out, commitment, being under the same roof, financial stability. I mean, love and money going hand in hand. Okay, all right. So trusted ancestors, how is Scorpio's person... When can we start to see them take affirmative action, please? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When are they going to do this? How are they going to do it? Well, it's interesting. Five of Pentacles coming back up in the reverse. See, they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore without you, Scorpio. They know that they have to make a change. This person knows that they have to make a change and for the better. You know, while you're stepping up your A-game, Scorpio, remember, you are energetically connected to this person, okay? So the vibe that you send to yourself and you have this energetic cord and connection, you know, with this person, okay, they're going to feel it. They could feel your energy, and it was in yesterday's reading, they feel your energy being, you know, like you're pulling away, you know, and they don't like it. They don't like it. Because, you know what, now they realize, this is what I'm hearing, They now they realize that they've made some major mistakes with you. That Five of Cups card was coming up the fifth time in a row as of yesterday's reading. Get ready, because this, this is honestly going to be unexpected. Fool card, bottom of the deck. Some of them could be reaching out to you today, Scorpio, for some of you. And somebody here is going to take a major leap of faith. Spirit's just being very direct, clear. This person is mentally stressing the F out. They know that they are fated and destined to be with you. And this energy, they, they wanted a rebirth here. This is, you know, it's about transformation. Death to the old ways of handling this relationship connection. So now they know that they have to make a move. Why is this person stressing out mentally so much? I got to find out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why are they stressing the F out over Scorpio? Yeah, because they're addicted to you. They're obsessing over you. They're mentally obsessing the devil card. You could be dealing straight up with a Capricorn. Okay, they're addicted to you, Scorpio. They're addicted to you. They, can, they can't let go of your energy. They miss you. They even miss you sexually. It's like they can't, they, it's like there's, there's sexual tension. I also feel that's going on for this person too. Okay. So let's see what else is going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What else is going on? Yeah, see, they, they're, they're so overwhelmed. They're confused confused they're just oh and it's not your fault scorpio they're gonna get out of this why ace of cups and the wheel of fortune and with the death card of sign scorpio coming in for this major change and somebody's actually going to be taking physical action you don't need to make any moves towards your person you don't need to go chasing after your person let them chase you scorpio let them chase you and i know you feel that you're probably allowing them to chase because you probably haven't you know for some of you probably haven't been making a whole lot of communication but in that meantime process, that is your most powerful time, is the here and the now. So again, throw yourself into high energy activities, exercise, work out, go paint, go draw, go write your book, you know, whatever it is, Scorpio, make a name for yourself, 
okay, in the meantime process. Because fate and destiny can also bring in career changes as well. Well, the universe is also working in on your person to teach them these karmic patterns, these karmic lessons and cycles, okay? And to help them to recognize who and what the snakes in the grass are and what has been holding them back from being with you. Because they don't, at the end of the day, they don't want to be without you. So this Ace of Cups, it doesn't matter. The Aces are always going to dominate over any card, over any card, over the major accounts, because it is about a powerful, passionate new beginning, okay? So... Yeah, here, it's like when you least expect it. Here you are, Scorpio, feeling stuck, you know, and then here comes your person. Could be happening for some of you in the next four hours. It could be the next four days. It could take four more months or in the fourth hour of the day. So, Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com.